Hey friends, I'm Heidi and this is my DIY channel. Thanks so much for clicking on this video because today in this episode I have some fun new fall ideas. Now let's get crafting. For this video I'm going to be focusing on these beautiful warm earthy fall tones. I think that they are so beautiful when they all come together and I really want you as my viewers to be able to see that there are so many options out there when it comes to color and what you bring into your home. So I hope these colors inspire you with these five projects I'm going to be sharing today. Project number one cost me five dollars to make, probably even a little under that. And we are going to be using this free printable that I designed for all of you. It will be linked down below in my description box so you can get to it. And I'm also going to link these little wood bumps that I picked up from Amazon that I just love. And that was included in the price because there were 400 in the pack that I purchased and I used just a little under the 100 that I used from this one particular pack. Now I'm gonna start by taking my fabric and I'm going to just stretch this over the canvas that I picked up from the DT and just make sure you pull it nice and tight to get out any wrinkles that you have and to make sure it is really just snugly on your canvas board. Then you're gonna cut off any extra fabric and fold in the sides to create a nice clean edge. And I used some of this drop cloth scrap fabric that I had to just make the back look nice and tidy and finish. Then we're gonna flip it over and glue on that free printable. And once we have that on, we're gonna create a wood frame around it using some of these large tongue depressor sticks. Cut them down to size, making sure that they all match up nice and neat, and make sure you account for them not being too wide or too long where it meets up to the sides of that free printable so you don't see the white coming out from underneath those sticks so it creates that frame look. Then I painted them all this pretty soft gray color, and once I had them all glued down and in place, I came back in with these darling wood bumps and I just framed on top of those wood sticks from earlier. And this adds the most beautiful texture and high end look to this project. At the very end, we're going to put on the ribbon at the back, conceal it between the two fabrics so it has a nice finished clean look. And then simply add a bow to the top and it is ready to be hung up for this fall season. I'm going to be sharing how I made this darling mini witch's broom using all of Dollar Tree supplies. This project is going to cost me just three dollars to make. I'm going to be using this hula grass skirt, this wood round, and a dowel from a plunger, all from the DT. Now start by heating up that sticker on the wooden dowel and just peel it off simply and easily. Without the heat gun, these stickers are a nightmare to take off, and there will be a little bit of sticky residue, and I like to just sand it off, but you could use some Goo Gone on it. Then I went ahead and took some wood putty and filled the hole and grabbed my countersink drill bit to drill down into that wood round, so that way I can drill a hole and sink my screw down in there so it will sit nicely on a table without scratching a table. I also drilled a hole in the wood handle for the plunger stick, the dowel, so that way that the screw could be able to be threaded all the way through the wood round and the dowel without it causing anything to crack or splinter. Now I am a little comfortable when it comes to my drill, so if you do not feel comfortable holding things while you're screwing them, definitely mount them in your wood area that you have where you can do this mount it down and allow you to be able to drill things in properly. I again just feel really comfortable with my drill so I wanted to make sure I made that very clear. Do not hold it like this if you do not feel comfortable. Then I'm going to simply take that hula skirt and I love the hula skirt for this particular project because we're going to just simply wrap it around the dowel and make sure you leave a spot where you can take some twine 
and you're just going to wrap that around really tightly and then tie a simple bow and you can use whatever ribbon you want for this but I went with twine because I wanted to have a very natural look to it I'm going for very earthy tones for this project you could also stain or paint the wooden dowel whatever colors you want and then I'm going to add a little dot of hot glue behind the bow loops so that it holds that bow in place and now we're going to just give it a haircut I'm going to be keeping and holding on to the rest of this because I'm actually going to use this raffia for another project and then once I push that off to the side I went ahead and came back up to the top of that hula skirt and I'm going to cut off the excess where that twine was wrapped with the raffia to hold it all in place and after that it is the most darling witch broom you've ever seen for just three dollars If you haven't yet, please do give this video a thumbs up and consider clicking that subscribe button down there and joining me and my other craft friends here on my channel. I found this darling little box shelf at my thrift store and it was half off so I got it for $2.50 and we are going to give it a makeover. I want to use this for essential oils in my linen closet. I thought this would be so cute to give a makeover to. So I used some of this beautiful, warm, happy feeling to it. I used a pretty peachy orange on the main part of it, the white on the top and bottom, and then I also used that same peachy orange color inside. And this blessed word, you can find these at the DT I found mine from Hobby Lobby and there was a pack of a whole bunch of different words. I painted it a really dark gray color and then did a white dry brush look to it. And now I'm just taking some fabric, some gingham gray and white fabric and I'm just going to cut it down to size to put it inside. And the last thing I did was I wanted to raise it up a little bit so it had some feet on it. I drilled four holes in the bottom of my cabinet and now I'm going to take these little wood feet, these ball feet from Hobby Lobby. I took two shish kebab sticks. I'm going to put some hot glue in and stick the stick in first, cut them down to size, add some more wood glue and hot glue. And then I'm going to just put them right inside of those drill holes and you've got yourself a darling brand new cabinet that cost hardly anything at all. This project only cost me $2 and I wouldn't even say it was that because this was scrap fabric that I had from a previous project. So we are going to take some paint, whatever color you want. I'm gonna go with this deep burnt orange color and we are going to not necessarily dry brush but it's the same technique is where you are working the paint by rubbing your paintbrush into the fabric and it will start to pick up all of that color into the fabric. Now the more you do it, the stronger the color gets, but I wanted mine to look old and rustic for the fall. So I'm now, once it's all dry, going to come back in with my jumbo permanent marker from the DT and I'm going to draw on a face of a little pumpkin that's just so happy. And then once it's all done being drawn on, I'm going to take my hot glue and you could sew this. I'm a big fan of sewing. I know some of you on here don't know how to sew, so I wanted to show that hot gluing is definitely an option, but make sure when you hot glue that you massage the glue into the fabric, and I would definitely recommend protecting your finger on this part because the hot glue can come through the fabric since it's got such a meshy feel to it. It can come through and burn you. Once the hot glue is all dried and everything is locked into place, you can go ahead and take your little gunny sack pumpkin and you can flip it around. 
This turned into the easiest project and it is just so darling and you can make these in any size that you want with any scrap fabric you have. I decided on the smaller one not to do a face on it so I have one with the face and one without and now we're just going to simply stuff them and we are going to just use some batting. I actually buy this particular bedding at the end of every single Christmas season when they're getting rid of all of their fake snow and I get a deal of a deal. That's how I always end up picking up this for so cheap. I think I bought a giant bag for like a dollar fifty, two dollars, which batting normally can be very expensive. Then I'm going to take some twine from the DT and I'm going to bundle it up at the top and then I'm going to take that twine and I'm just going to wrap it around nice and tight, but not too tight because we're going to be putting a little stick down in there. But before I do that, I decided I wanted to add on a nice double knot to keep it in place. And then I also wanted to make a thicker bow. So how I do is I take my four fingers and I wrap the twine around about five or six times so it's nice and thick. I tie a knot so it keeps them all in place. And then with some hot glue, I just go ahead and glue that right on where I had the other knot. And it really just makes it look so high end with this thick, beautiful bow on here. Now I go ahead and I hot glue my twig down in there that I found in my garden. Trim down the top just a little bit so I can see the twig. I don't want it to be covering too much of that. And then the last is just to add on a leaf that I had in a scrap pile of a bunch of past florals that I used from Pix. This project cost me $15 to make. Now I will say you could definitely make it much cheaper if you already have a whole bunch of fabric on hand. I ended up doing about a fourth of a yard to a half of a yard depending on which fabric I was using of all of these different fabrics. And we are going to be making a beautiful rag banner with these bright, wonderful fall colors. So I'm gonna take a twine that I want to be a certain length, you can make it whatever length you want, and I'm going to add on just two loop knots on the ends of this twine so that we can be able to hang it up and have a nice loop to be able to put that on a hook or a nail, wherever you decide to hang this up in your home. And I'm gonna cut off the extra and make sure it's nice and tight. And now I'm going to start taking the fabric and I'm going to rip it. So it's really easy to do this. You're gonna find the grain of the fabric and you'll know right away which way is the grain because when you try to do this, one way will rip so smoothly and the other way will struggle. Once you've ripped everything up, go ahead and you're just going to loop on those fabrics. So I make it like the shape of a U, put it on the twine, and then I bring the ends through the loop so it's holding onto the twine. And then I just continue to do that. I create a pattern of how I want them to look and I just stick to that order going through all of the fabrics and repeating that pattern over and over again from one side over to the other end. And when you're done, this statement banner is the most beautiful banner and can be hung up all over your home. I just love it so much and I hope you will give it a try. I hope you felt inspired by these projects today. I love color and trying to find fun new ways to be able to incorporate that into my projects. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you think of this color combo, which one you like, which one you think you will try, and then I'm going to recommend a couple of videos right here off to the side for you to check out if you enjoyed this video. And until the next episode, bye friends!